Hello, this is Norma and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some cornmeal fritter. One of my subscribers asked me to do it. This is the cornmeal that I'm going to be using. And make sure it's the fine one. This is the cheese that I'm going to use. I have two versions I'm going to make. One I'm going to make uh, with salt and the other one I'm going to make with salt and a little bit of sugar. So this is the cheese. I have water. And I will be putting unsalted butter and some salt. So let's start the first one. I have my pot on the stove. I'm going to put two cups of tap water. And I'm going to put half a teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of butter. And I'm going to bring that to a boil. It has come to a boil. I'm going to take it off my stove and I'm going to add one and a half cup of fine cornmeal. So that was two cups of water, it was tap water, one and a half cup of fine cornmeal, half a teaspoon of salt, now that it's all mixed up, I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes so it can cool down. I kept it for five minutes because I want it a little bit cool since I'm going to handle it with my hand. I have some water that I'm just going to put on my hand. I'm going to cut some. And flatten it a little bit. I have the cheese that I cut up. I'm going to put some in the middle. Fold it over. Make it as flat as you can. Gonna take another one. A little water on my hand. Take some cheese, put it in the center, flip it over, and start to flatten it. I'm going to do all of them and I will be back. I put the cheese in there and I flatten it. I have some oil that I put in my pan and I'm going to fry it. This is the oil that I have on the stove and I don't want it very hot. I want it on medium heat to start frying. I didn't realize my camera just went off. But I was saying you want it on medium heat because you don't want it too hot and your fritter to burn before it gets cooked. So let it fry and I will be back. 
it's best to use a non-stick frying pan when you're frying your fritter. And now I'm about to flip it around. That's why I say use a non-stick pan because it's easier to flip. And that's the cheese that's all bubbly and on it. So I'm going to fry that side and I'll be back. I'm going to take it out and put some paper towel on a plate and try to soak as much oil off as I can. And I'm going to fry all of them and I will be back. One of them is ready and I'm just going to open it up. And you see all the gooey cheese that's in there. And this I'm going to be having with my breakfast. The fritter with the cheese is ready. They call me fritter. Now I'm going to move on to making the one that's sweet. I'm about to make the one that I'm going to put sugar in. I have one fourth cup of fine cornmeal. To that I'm going to add one fourth cup of all purpose flour. To that I'm adding one fourth teaspoon of salt. And to that I'm adding one teaspoon sugar. You can add um, double or triple the recipe if you want, but I already have my breakfast so I'm just showing you a sample that's why I'm making a small quantity. You can also add more sugar if you want. And now I'm going to add half a cup of water. And that's just tap water. And I'm just going to mix it. I have mixed it and this is the consistency. I have my frying pan I've put on the stove. I'm going to put a little bit of oil. I'm going to bring it up to medium, not high because you don't want it to burn. And then we're going to start frying. Here's the little oil that I have in there. And I'm just about to start frying it. I'm going to start adding the fritter. Let me check if it's about to be flipped over. See how easily it moves when it's non-stick? I'll fry a little bit more. I'm going to flip it over.
and let this fry on this side and I will take it out and drain out some paper towel. Time to take it out of the oil. And the sweet corn meal fritter is all ready. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification button. So each time I upload, you will be notified. Bye-bye.